Hi friends, Lori here. I'm back to start another reading vlog. So this is going to be a sequel reading vlog and I'm going to, I have a bunch of sequels on my list. I'll be very, very honest. and I don't really know where I'm going to begin, but because I'm come, I'm filming two vlogs simultaneously. I'm filming my fantasy reading vlog, which I have not read a lot of fantasy this year, obviously. Well, it just it hasn't, the numbers haven't been in my favor. So I'm going to pick up some like sequels to sort of transition that out because I think if I read like five fantasies in a row I'm gonna be burned out and I don't want that to happen to me so I'm gonna pick up the babysitters club Jesse's secret language I literally just got this from Barnes and Noble and it will probably be a super quick read um and I normally get the physical ones and then I bring these to school and I give them to the kids so yeah I'm gonna go read this I probably will read it in like one sitting and then I'll just give you guys an update um and then I'm gonna decide if I want to read another thing or go back to my fantasy. We'll see. I think I might read something else. Like another like sequel that I have. And I have a couple on my list. So I don't know. That's sort of where I am at. But this is going to be a sequel reading vlog. Where I read a couple of sequels. And the first one's up is Jesse's Secret Language. So I'm going to go start that. Still so horribly bummed that the Babysitter's Club got cancelled. Because I love that show. And it was really really good. So um, I'm going to go read this. Um, and then I will come back and we will chat. I might look at my TBR list and see like what I still need to read. What's a sequel that's not fantasy. That might be a little bit hard. Um, but I should be able to find something. So I'm going to go read this and when I'm done, I will check back in with you guys and we will have a chat about what I'm going to read next. So I'll be back when I'm done with Jesse's Secret Language. So far, I really enjoyed these books though. So hopefully this one is another you know, step on that thing. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye friends. Hey friends. I'm just checking back in. I did wind up finishing the babysitter's club, Jesse's secret language, um, by Chow Chow. I really liked it. I think this is probably one of my favorite reads of this series. I don't remember reading this when I was a kid. Again, I was not, again, I said this in like so many reading vlogs. I was not a babysitter's club fan, but I was a little sister's fan. So this is the series that I'm tackling though. I really liked it. I think the rep was really good. You basically follow Jesse. She's a babysitter in this club. She's like a junior member. She's also a dancer, which I loved. I'm an art teacher. I'm a drama teacher. So any arts rep I really, really enjoy. And she winds up having to babysit for a deaf kid. And I think that that's just such interesting. The conversations that were had, the way that they did adaptations for him to understand the dance was so cute. And I just love this, the friend dynamics as well. There was also a lot about friendship and like sister dynamics and like having a, a, sister, a sibling with disability and what that is like. I really liked it. I gave it like five stars. Definitely a, fav uh, definitely a favorite of the series. So I don't know what I want to read like long term, but I do want to catch up on more Olympus. So I'm going to read volume two. I don't know how far I'm going to get. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish the whole thing, but I do have a little bit of time and I have all the volumes. So... I might read like half of this tonight or see how far I can get and then I'll give you guys a check in but I really did like lore one I bought volume three as well so I do have it and then I don't know if I'm gonna go back to reading like a fantasy or if I'm gonna read um a contempt like an actual novel in this but these are sequels so they do count um and yeah I'm gonna go read this one I got this I got this one from no. comic-con so this was my treat to myself when I went there. This cover is so pretty. So and I was there a little bit early. So I'm going to go start this, read as much as I can, and then I'll give you guys an update. Bye, friends. Hey, friends. Just want to do a quick check-in. I did wind up going to get my hair newly done. I get it done every Wednesday, which is why my Wednesday schedule is a little bit off. Um, but I had a pretty good day at work. I convinced more kids to try out for the play, which is good. Um, so I wound up reading about a hundred pages in Van Beekers on the road. I'm really loving the series. Definitely like my favorite contemporary middle grade series that I've ever read. I have read all six books and I'm loving this one. This is a road trip. So I think it would be a perfect like summertime read. Um, but I don't want to talk too much spoilers cause it's very much like a serialized book, but this one involves a road trip that they're trying to re not like rescue their father, but spend the father's birthday with them but to do that they have to go on a road trip to like fulfill their grandfather's dying wish um and now they're stuck in a random farm in kentucky so it's a very very fun found family type story the first book the van beakers on 144th street would be a great christmas time read because like they basically live in new york city right where i went to college um and they had to convince their curmudgeon old um landlord to not kick them out um 
and things were very dire in that book so every book kind of subsequently deals with different topics they're all seasonal this one is a summer read and i'm really loving it so yeah um i love it it's a it's like a very very big family in the city which you don't really see and i'm just loving all the side characters and it's, it, this looks a bit different because it doesn't take place in the house and if like the house was like the brownstone was a character in and in itself but this book is just such a fun read and i'm really really liking it so i read about 92 pages um i might try to make some more progress on it tonight so i could just go back to my fantasy because that was the whole goal is to read a couple of books and then head back to fantasy so yeah i'm really liking it though i love karen van glazer's writing so there was another book she came out like a sale that i haven't read but this is definitely working so yeah, I'm going to go read a little bit when I get up to page 150. I'll give you guys an update, and I'll also give you guys a time check. Right now it is 5.40. I just got home from work, so I'm going to go read a little bit more. And when I have another update for this book, I'll give you guys one. Bye, friends. Hi, friends. Laura here. I'm back. I just want to do a quick update. I did wind up finishing Van Beekers on the Road by Karen Van Glazer. I really like this one. I don't think it's a five-star yeah. read for me. But I did really, really like it. Um, hold on, let me shut my door for a second. <laughs> but I did enjoy it. This book is set in the summer, and it follows the Van Beekers on a road trip to rescue their father. It's a little bit of a complicated read, but I enjoyed it. Um, there was a lot of miscommunication in this trope, but I did like the prime hair dynamics. I love the sibling dynamics. This book was set in the summer, so it would actually work great for the Ranger Readathon prompt if I needed one. Um, but I love this. I read these books so quickly. The family dynamics is definitely a highlight. This book was a little bit different because they were not in the house at all. The past, is this book five? Yeah, I think this is book five. So they traveled from New York to California in this book to rescue their dad and go on a, a like, um a birthday trip for their dad and they had so much fun it was it was great i really really loved it i have nothing bad to say probably like a four star read and it was just really enjoyable a comfort read and i'm really happy that i'm back in this world so i i don't know what i want to do i don't know if i'm going to f read a little bit more like light stuff i i'm in the middle of lore or not lore um lore olympus i started that like a couple of days ago and I think I'm just going to finish it because I'm filming my wrap up tomorrow and I want to like have an even number of books, but I like this. So I think I'm going to do that and then I'm going to sort of figure out what I want to read next. I have a lot of fantasy options. I brought a magic steeped in poison to work. So I think I might read that. Um, this does give me summer vibes. I don't know. I might like deviate a little bit from my TBR. I'm not really sure, but I know that I want to finish lore look at my tbr see where we are and might count this for that prompt um and maybe read something else i don't really know so <laughs> that's where we are i'm definitely gonna go finish lore i think tonight just because it's a little bit of a lighter read um actually not lighter read, but it's a quicker read and i could probably get it done because tomorrow i have to film my wrap up and i want to include as many books in that as i can because i know i have about a two week break like a week and a half break so i know i'm gonna get a lot of reading done towards the end of the year and i think the second half of my month i'm gonna read a lot more because i have a lot of time off especially physically um but i also know i have to do a lot of prep filming so alas gave this four stars i don't know what i'm gonna read next um but so far my middle grade adventuring has been super fun so that's great or catching up on series has been a, a bit fun for me. So I think I'm going to probably split this vlog into two parts. And I'm going to do a bunch of middle grade quicker reads. And then I might do like a solid fantasy sequel reading vlog. Because that's really all I want to read. But I don't want to burn myself out. So I'm going to go make sure I'm organized. Get ready for work tomorrow. Get ready for bed. Because I'm still in my work clothes. Um, and then I will chat with you guys when I make some more progress on more. And we'll chat then. Bye, friends. Hey, friends. I just want to do a quick update. I mean, this book never has page numbers, which is slightly annoying, I will say. But I did wind up getting up to page, episode 43, The Wager, in Laura Olympus Volume 2 by Rachel Smythe. I'm really enjoying it. I will say this book does deal with the aftermath of sexual assault. The first one, there was sexual assault on the page. This one is the aftermath of it, so the character that sexually assaulted her is still in the picture. I just love the Persades and have Persades. Persades. 
Persephone and Hades retelling. I have never been quite fond of their story, but I'll be honest, these writing, this art style is stunning. And it very much gives me like older Percy Jackson vibes because it is all gods. And it it's just it's just fun. I just like the characters. I think it does deal with harder topics. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm probably gonna finish this volume tonight and then I'm gonna see if I what time it is. Right now it's almost 7.30, so I might be able to finish volume three. Um, but I'm really liking it. I think the art style is even more stunning, and I definitely want to read these back to back to back because I forgot a lot of information from first to second, so I want to try to enjoy that for second to third. So yeah, I'm going to go finish Laura Olympus volume two, and then I'll give you guys another check-in. Bye, friends. Hey friends, I'm back for this smaller reading vlog. I'm just, the focus of this reading vlog, I don't think I really explained it, is just to catch up on some smaller series. So I have a couple of middle grades, I have a couple of graphic novels, really sort of a hot podge, but I really want to get better at completing series, so, or at least catching up on series. Um, so I'm going to tackle um, Lore Olympus Volume 3. I started this earlier and I just never get around to finishing it, so I'm actually just going to start this and tackle it. Um, and then hopefully tonight I can make a significant amount of progress on this. And then I'm going to bring Battleborn with me to work tomorrow by Amy Kaufman. So, and this will be the book I'm going to read tomorrow during work. Um, this is the third book in her middle grade series and I've wanted to finish it for a while. I got this out of the library. I might have to go back soon. So I have a little bit of motivation to finish it sooner rather than later. But right now my focus is lore. And when I get up to a couple of chapters, I will tell you guys my thoughts on it. But... That is the focus for this, um, and then after I read these two, I'm going to go back to reading fantasy, which has been a really, really nice break for me, so I don't get burned out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go read a little bit of Lore Olympus, I'm going to pack Battleborn, because I'm going to bring this to work tomorrow, because this is not going to fit in my bag tomorrow, I'm sorry. But yeah, I will make some significant progress on this tonight as well, and when I make, when I read a few chapters, I'll give you guys an update. Bye friends! Lori here, this is just a super quick reading vlog where I ran, read a couple of like, shorter series or like graphic novels it was just super short i was doing it in the middle of another reading vlog and i had a really small amount of footage that i wanted to add to book miss so it's not really all that edited my thoughts are a little bit haphazard but i did want to toss it in here um for a reading vlog for you all because i'm still not ready to start filming book miss quite yet again but hope you guys like the vlog let me know in the comments what are some books you might read before the end of the year that are shorter that is definitely what these were. These were all shorter reads. Um, I read two volumes of Laura Olympus. I read um, a Babysitter's Club graphic novel. And I also read Battleborn by Amy Kaufman. So very, very quick reads. And I caught up on three series in this vlog, which is actually really, really good for me. Because that is one thing I've been struggling with. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this vlog. And I'll see you tomorrow for Bookmas. Bye, friends.